What's going on guys? Welcome back to another quick review here on Action Industries. My name is Ben Bateman. This is a review for a brand new film opening this weekend called The Lodge. Sounds menacing. Sounds sounds ominous. Well, it is a horror film. It's directed by Severin, Fiala, and Veronica Franz. These are the directors of the film uh, Goodbye Mommy from a couple years ago. I didn't see it. I've definitely heard about it. And this stars Alicia Silverstone, it stars Richard Armitage, Riley Keough, it stars um, uh, Jaden Martell, who's one of the kids from It, uh, Leah McHugh. It's, uh, it's a cat, I would say it's a smaller cast on the whole, you know, it's, these are, these are actors for the most part that we know from, from things, right? You know, like Riley Keough, she's in uh, Mad Max Fury Road, um, I believe she was in Logan Lucky. You know, when it comes to uh, Richard Armitage, the thing he's most famous for is that he played Thorin in the Hobbit films. But, you know, these are not, uh, you know, these are not like Fast and the Furious actors for the most part or, you know, like gigantic MCU people. It's, it's a smaller horror film. And this movie attempts a lot. It tries to be really dark and really creepy. And in some regards, it really succeeds there, right? It is, it is very dark. It is very creepy. Uh, there is a lot to it that, that I really think works. Um, but on the whole, in the end, it goes for uh, kind of a bait and switch, a little bit of a, there, there's a twist, basically. There's a twist and maybe you see it coming, maybe you don't see it coming, but when it does happen and you start to kind of question the whole film and what's happened to get you there, it starts to feel kind of dubious. Um, it's not really the most satisfying. The film succeeds in its moments where Riley Keough is great. She's, she's really, really good in this movie. I mean, I think she does a great job. She's far and away the best part. And it also succeeds in the parts that it has like a real creepy vibe. Like there's some good casting, but the plotting is pretty weak. It's a little predictable and there's just a lot to be like a lot left on the table. Um, and the ending's a little predictable. So I didn't love it. I definitely found myself wondering when it was gonna end. It felt, felt a little long to me, but if you're a horror enthusiast and you just really like creepy stuff, there's definitely parts of this movie I think you'll enjoy. To me, this is an airplane movie. This is a home video movie. This is not one I would go see in theaters. Wasn't my favorite, but uh, horror in general is not my favorite genre. I've liked a lot of horror films more than this. I mean, I'm a huge fan of Get Out. I think Hereditary is fantastic. There's there's a lot of horror films I've, I've ended up really, really liking. It's just this one wasn't my favorite. So thanks for watching, guys. Another quick review here on Action Industries. Be sure to hit subscribe. Be sure to leave your thoughts and comments below. Are you looking forward to seeing this one? And of course, follow along with everything we are doing at Team Action Show on Twitter, Action Industries, everywhere else. And you can follow me personally at Ben Bateman Media. Talk to you guys next time.